Hello my friend, my name is José Cruz and welcome to José Sim, the Uncle Bill's favorite channel. Today we're gonna talk about .NET Watch, specifically the .NET Watch Run, the command that we use to apply the watch in our code. If you, you never heard about the .NET Watch before, don't worry about that, I can explain a little bit. The .NET Watch is an, uh, a tool from the .NET CLI, you know, the .NET framework, that's responsible to help us and save some time. How this tool do that? When you apply some change in your code, in the old times, we had to stop the application, build that, and then run it again. Let's take a little bit of time, right? When you do it a lot of times during the day, in the end of the day, we lost a little bit of time. It's not so cool. So that is why we have the dot .match watch. Normally people apply that in the terminal, in the application. That's cool. But today we're gonna learn how to add it in our Visual Studio. But before that, I would like to invite you. Every Monday, Wednesday, 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 <laughs> I can say that, Wednesday. And Saturday, I'm doing lives here on YouTube and also on Twitch. We are constructing one identity API. And in the future, probably more things. So I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel, to not miss that, and also to enjoy the chat and everything that we have during this lives is really fun so yeah, let's go to the code here i have an application the identity that we are constructing in our lives and i have a simple things here not so complex i have my application my controller it's everything fine it's a simple api and here i have the options to run with is my service and wsl i don't have wsl installed in this machine so i wouldn't try that I'll try this one, the full, right? So you click on that, it will bring me a terminal and then it will show me the application. So that's cool, right? Really simple. We have our terminal here, the application, we're constructing that, nothing so, um, let's say, complex here. But I want to change this endpoint. It's not so cool. I want to change the name. So how can I do that? I go to my controller. I want and I want to change it. I will add one here in the row. And I save. So what happened? Nothing, right? Because I'm not run, running the watch. So if I reload my page, it's still the same. Even if I change the code, it makes sense. But that is the best, um, not the best, but the great point of the .NET watch. Let's run it on the terminal, that most of people do that. If you don't use the .NET watch, we should just build the application and run it again, and the change will appear in the browser. But we can do that through the .NET watch. So let me open my path. And then here I have my application, right? Really cool. So with shift and right button on mouse, I will open my PowerShell. Here with my application, I can run the .NET Watch run. So, oh, I'm in the controller folder. Let me fix that. Done. So it will build my application and it will bring my swagger. Great, right? As before, but not using the Visual Studio. As you can see, you are not running that. So I will move it here, move it to the left, perfect. And as you can see, I have now my new path. Good, new account one. But I want to change to new account two. How can I do that? I go to the code and I change my path. Look at that. Let me show you the magic is happening. Just a minute here. Then I save it to Done. As you can see in the terminal, it applied my chains. It's building and apply my chains and done. I have my new account too here. That's really cool, right? I think it's really, really good. But some, it saved a lot of time, really. You don't need to stop the application. You don't need to build everything again. And you can debug and everything happen. Really, really cool flow. So I want to use it here. I want to add my .NET watch as an option. 
because you're a problem in asking me hey Jose, we are having an update on that in visual studio that already do that i know i know i know that you are probably thinking we forgot that fire on the visual studio i know i don't i will show you why i'm doing that here we have this option i will show you what i'm talking about i will cancel here i will close the application it's not running anymore and then i will minimize that then here i have my new account i will remove to new account just that without any number i will just start my application as before cool okay that's good sounds good but i want to change my path again new account six there's no problem right and i want to use that option do you remember the file here the apply code chains let's see how it works oh it doesn't work in some moments we can't change that and apply it through the visual studio so how can we how can we use the dot not watch run on visual studio let's add it here in our solution settings in our properties launch settings we have the profiles that we can launch an application the is express our service and now you can copy the comments that i will leave below the, in the description of this video feel free to copy that and then you will paste here as you can see let me zoom it then you can see now we have this watch app you can write whatever you want here obviously whatever good name is your application app one just to see then i have the command day executable the path the dot match the command line arcs watch run that's the watch that we are rating here right the working directory is the project root uh, directory launch browser yes the application every all the rest of configurations as you can see here in the service and also the yes um, um also the environment variables that we can use or not is here so we have a new profile let's me let's rebuild the solution and you see one thing really cool as you can see here now i have my profile can you see i have my yes my service the wsl and also that profile that I added right now. That's cool. How can I use that? Just select your watch app one. Please choose a better name. Click on it. It will bring the terminal. That's cool. Same as before, right? Let's close the older window just to have one. And then here, my controller, I have account six, six, and uh, it's okay. But I want to use the three now, or I don't know. Let's use some five, eight, whatever. And when I save it, it will update the page, as you can see here. Let's do it again. Let's now my new account or just new as ACC for an account. Don't do that. Write the full name. Leave your endpoints more clear clearly possible so yeah save that and it in the dot net watch will update your code it will build and apply your code as you can see here that's good so that's a good way how to use the dot net watch in our visual studio okay i know that we have this apply code chains but sometimes it's not so useful Maybe they can improve that on Visual Studio 2022, and probably they will. But in the meantime, I am using it this way, and I hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know how to use the .NET Watch in your Visual Studio. You then you don't need to use the terminal anymore, at least for that. See you next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and bye.